Hey guys, don't let hackers steal your financial data. Go to expressvpn.com slash rooster for more info. It's a hard mode! Hard mode! <laughs> Happy holidays! Ah! We're doing a white elephant gift exchange, but uh, I put a twist onto it. So normal white elephant gift exchange is that you put numbers into a hat. We'll pull out a number and that's the number in which you, the order that will uh, either open a gift or steal a gift. Mm -hmm. In order to steal a gift, you must tell an embarrassing or gross Christmas story. If you run out of those stories, since it's, since it's, since it's the holidays, you can tell a nice story, like a, like a fun story, a, like a good story. You know, we want those too. We want to put positive positivity. Positivity. Good old S for Sorolla. Four. And Sorry, I got, I got, I got an H Nativity. for hat. For a uh, Hunkleman. I got an N. Or nature. Or nativity, maybe? You wanna go Christmas? <laughs> I'm first. Um, I'm gonna go stocking sheet bag. Okay, before you open it, I have to, to preface it. $20, we, we discussed, is uh, was our limit. So I went with a shotgun approach. He bought a shotgun. He bought a shotgun. <laughs> Those are only $20? No wonder America has a gun problem. My first gun. <laughs> Panda? Well, there's a panda on a toilet. It's a toilet seat deodorizer, so you don't have to worry about your, uh, your bathroom. Cute! Okay. There's, there's this, this little decoration. I thought these were fingy gloves, they're for a chair. So when you, I thought they were for a cat. When you scoot it around, it doesn't like make noise. It's nice. That's cute. Rainproof trousers. Keep those in your car. If you're ever caught in a storm, you never know when you're gonna need them. There's so much more in here. Storage bag clips, they're a little, so, little cute. The interesting about these, you can set the, the date and the month that you put ah. your stuff. That way you know exactly you got all of this for under twenty. All this was exactly twenty dollars. That's insane. This is, a, this is a goddamn teapot. No, what? it's it's a rice, oh, rice cooker, cooker for a single serving of rice. Oh, I like so that. Nice. <laughs> so what is this? Uh, disposable panties. When you're ca when you need your disposable trousers and you're caught in the rain, you might need some underwear to go along with it. I mean, these would fit me. These are thirty three and a half to thirty six. Mm -hmm. And yes. is this like a phone stand? Yeah, you put it on your desk. That way you can yeah. phone stand, or like it looks like a switch even. Holy yeah. shit! How much shit you get in there? Disposable briefs. We got oh. panties oh. and briefs. Whatever. Uh, personal the yeah, I very like gender that. inclusive. I like it. And then a neck holder for your smartphone. Now hold on. So you don't have to look like an idiot carrying your smartphone around. You can look like an idiot with a necklace <laughs> running around. Okay, that's number one. You were number two. No shaking. No, that's, that's, <laughs> Stop it. That's the first rule of white elephant. Yeah, because you okay. just break the white elephant. I believe, this, white I believe elephant. this is Kayla's gift. Like I assume it's going to be a giant Funko Pop. Whoa! <laughs> Extra <laughs> flaming hot. But wait. So I'm assuming this those is those flaming hot spicy. Cheeto I brownies. Yeah, I made some flaming hot Cheetos uh, rice crispy treats. You made these, what huh? What is this? What is this? Is it a blanket? No, it's not. Is it a costume? <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! Hey, hot crunchy boy. Hey, Blaine. It's the Christmas Cheeto man. I like the way you work it. I'd like to bag it up. Bag I love it. All right, number three. Yeah, I'm gonna open barbs. We're just opening, no stealing. All right, so I just want to preface this by saying I found out about the white elephant video while I was in London. Is it Paddington? It's a lot of Oh, It's a Paddington! It's a little Union Jack deck of cards. Are these smaller than American cards? They should be. They don't feel. They don't feel regulation size. No, they're, they're a little small. Bit small like, for the small hair. British hands. Are these tea towels? Tea towels? Little, little, little UK tea towels. Some Cadbury chocolate Ooh. from the UK. Wait, the wait. real stuff. Mm -hmm. How many of these things do you buy in the airport? Every All of single it. one. <laughs> I'm a little impressed, Barbara. You can't get a lot at an airport for twenty dollars, but yeah. it seems you got a decent amount I, there. I, it was, well, I think it was quid. twenty-one dollars. Oh wait, is it yeah. pounds or dollars? You just been. It was pounds. So oh, that's like fifty dollars. Oh. His eyes are a bit wonky. Oh, yeah. That's Puddington. <laughs> uh, I want to steal. Uh oh. I want to steal. All the guns? <laughs> the, All the, the guns. The shotgun guns. bag? All the guns? John, you said embarrassing or gross. Or gross. Or if you can't think of anything, something that's wholesome. just a nice little wholesome story. Right? I'll tell a nice story because I haven't had enough Christmases to embarrass myself quite yet. Editor, insert some nice, sweet Jewish music. <laughs> over, over a Christmas story. Over a Christmas yes, story. Absolutely. Well, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> Christmas time, the candle is supposed to burn for eight days. We're going to be visiting Trevor's family for Christmas. Yeah. And so we're going to be out of town and not in our, in our house for Christmas. And so unbeknownst to me, a few days before Christmas, Trevor wakes me up in the morning. He goes, I think I heard a noise downstairs. And I was like, you guys got robbed. I was yeah. freaking out at first. So I was like, call the police. What do you mean? 
And I come downstairs and he had decorated the whole Christmas tree and put presents for me. Oh damn. All under the tree. And so I got to have like my first kind of real Christmas experience with just him. That's, that's, that's adorable. way too sweet. That's too sweet. <laughs> I have a more cynical way of viewing what happened there. <laughs> Is that Trevor was like, I'm taking my girlfriend who has never done a Christmas to hang out with my family who have done Christmas entire lives. We're gonna do a prep Christmas. Yeah, that's a run-through. And we're gonna do a run through with Barb <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna vet her before she does something weird in front of my family. Sure, we had to make sure I would be normal. Yeah. Like, then you know, Christmas presents. They'll take the ornaments off and like these yeah. are weird apples. Oh yeah. yeah. I have to, yeah, to open or steal. or steal. This would get me some points. With your kids. With kids, and I love and I actually really love Cadbury chocolate. Kids love Puddington. I have actually an embarrassing story. When I was like eight or nine uh, living in California. You know, it's just a normal thing that a family's like do for Christmas, you go drive around looking at Christmas lights. Well, one time we were driving around and I had to fart so bad no. in the car. I was really worried to fart and try to hold it as long as I could. And I finally let out a big old fart, but it was like a silent fart. Yes. No one reacted. And so I was, I was in the clear. The problem was, Farts kept coming. Something had happened with food you, where I you was. Broke the seal. I broke the seal, and so I kept like doing the thing where you would just kind of like try to shift to just kind of let the fart go out and not make a noise, that kind of thing. Yeah. Since I'm, I'm doing it in the back of the car, and somehow the entire trip, no one said anything. But then when I got home and got to the restroom, I realized they were not farts. Oh no! I had been letting out little bits of shit. The oh, entire no. car ride. Yeah, Blaine, you're, you're Blaine's gone. Weird when you're a little kid. How does that make you feel, Blaine? Oh, that's a brown Christmas, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I still got to see the lights, so it was, it was a win. But now I haven't had anything better for that yeah, story, so say, it's, 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 it's all it's all it. it's all been worth it. Also, Barb, nice Canadian tuxedo. Thank you very much. Worth your set. I have a Canadian tuxedo over this new beautiful shirt that's in the Archie store. And also, merch plug. Those snail socks. Bam. I saw them. Oh, are those in the store? They are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah look at this. I want those. Nice those. Uh, okay, so I stole from Kayla. Kayla, your turn to choose whether you want to steal the. Basically, you'd ha- you'd steal the, either the uh, the Gubs bag or open something new. I'm gonna steal Barb's bag. So you're gonna steal the Gubs bag. Yeah, I'm gonna steal the That's bag. Um, second steal. Mm. But you gotta tell a story. So I was an only child for like six years, mm. and then my sister was born on December 27th, two days after Christmas. So for preface, like I was the first like grandchild on one side of the family, yeah. and then I was the only girl on the other side of the family. So I got everything. One year I got two Pokédexes for Christmas. <laughs> everybody yeah. just wanted to give me everything I wanted, <laughs> and it was sick for six years. And then that baby came home, and I was just like, "Yo, what's with this baby?" The baby had been home for a couple days. I wasn't feeling it, and apparently, I went up to my one of my parents. And I was just like, when's this baby going? <laughs> I don't want it here. Yeah. And they were like, no, this baby's staying here. And then I and then I, I, I pouted yeah. because I was like, what do you mean it's staying here? Yeah, this baby's uh, your new roommate. You know, I think I'm going to pick a new gift. Uh, I'm trying to decide between Blaine and John. Who would who would go John? to the effort Blaine. of making a better gift and getting a better gift? So I'm going to go with John. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know what I could have. We actually know you very well. We've known you for years. Oh. Oh. Let's hear it now. He's not happy. And we got some... Grandpa. Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> this box was meant for me. And a little a game, would you dare? Ooh. Yeah. Which maybe we could play. If so, whoever gets that opens it, and there's like there's like a like a alternative art V Max of like the Glacian or something, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. <laughs> we'll open it when yeah, we figure we'll, out who yeah, finally we'll gets it. At the end of this video, we're gonna do it and see way. if I have made a huge mistake. I I I, I got him. Say, I've been eyeing that Cheeto <laughs> costume <laughs> ever since it first got opened. I'm modeling it quite well. So, but I'm gonna actually go with Blaine's. It's heavy. He got you a weight. Is, he got a weight. <laughs> this is pretty heavy. Ah, there you go. <laughs> hey, check out. Wait, 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 wait. That's not all. <laughs> there is more. There you it's go. See, that's the good. <laughs> Pre-treated, so yeah. you just light a match, yeah. it goes no, up. That's the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, hey, no lighter fluid necessary. You know, we're all laughing now, but when that grid goes down, it's yeah. next February. <laughs> <laughs> Are each of those bags just $10 each? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Blaine. I love it. That, that went pretty well. That went pretty well. Except for Gus getting stuck with maybe, I think, the worst <laughs> gift ever. Well, what we say for last... 
Pokemon cards. Slack off. C dot. We got Love Disc. Baggin. Baggin. Pumpkaboo. Pumpkaboo. Oh. Fighting card. Flaffy. Flaffy. Oh, Braviary. These these, these were these were the two good ones that came out of it. There's Flapple and there was Reverse Hollow Floet. Okay. Those are worth more than twenty dollars. Those are not worth more than twenty dollars. I can tell you that right now. Can I have Flaffy, please? You can have Flaffy. Do you want card playing? I'd be in a game with a Flaffy almost exclusively. He just wants the he just wants the fighting energy. <laughs> Thanks for watching hard mode. Bye. And that's not what we say. Oh, don't forget, stay hard. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> he forgot, he was uh, I never, I'm never the one who says it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if so, can I suggest something else? We have a brand new animated show uh, brought to you by Black Box Down called Aviation Explanation. You can check out the first video right now by clicking the link down below me. It's kind of in the style of Rooster Teeth Animated Adventures, 2D animations, really cool, really informative. Please, please, please check it out. We've done a lot of work on it. I think it's fantastic.